Hey, welcome back to my channel. I make weekly art tutorials, paint alongs and vlogs. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking you to one of my favorite places in the world, and that is Venice. So very recently, I decided to book an impromptu solo trip to Venice in Italy. And I had been telling myself that I was going to take a solo trip for months, if not years, um, but I just hadn't. and. I finally got the opportunity to do that right before my birthday and the aim is to just relax, to look around, to take pictures, to paint, to stroll, to do whatever I want to do absolutely guilt free <laughs> and I thought that it would be really nice to take you along with me so that I can show you why I love Venice and then also hopefully inspire you to create as much as going there inspired me. So I'll show you all the beautiful sights that I saw. I'll show you everything that I did, my plein air painting. We're just going to look through it all. I feel like there are two types of people in this earth. The type who want to have a genuine Venetian experience and go and stay in an old school hotel right in the middle of Venice. And then there's me, the bougie type who decides she wants to stay in a Hilton hotel who's that's 10 minutes away from Venice just so she could stay in a really really nice hotel and that's honestly what I went for like I like what I like and that tends to be newish kind of hotels so I actually ended up staying in Mestre and then I'd take the bus in which is a 10 minute bus ride straight into Venice which was the best of both worlds for me <laughs> I made it <laughs> I finally made it Oh my gosh. Okay, let me show you around. So, I asked them for a bath, which they very kindly gave me. And the reason I asked is I just want to really relax. So, that's perfect. Then it comes with, I think, tea and a kettle, which is good. And then that's my stuff over there. This is the hotel room. ready it's morning oh i'm so excited to see venice i shamelessly had a massive breakfast and then made my way into venice now can you believe initially my plan was to have a break anywhere like i'd love to go venice but anywhere but it was actually cheaper for me to go to venice and stay in the hilton and spend time there than it would have been for me to have a british staycation <laughs> which is crazy so obviously i went and these are just some of the beautiful beautiful scenes like I ended up taking a few tours and you'll see that later but every single bit has history, every single bit has a story behind it, every building, every bridge, every boat, like literally everything is just so spectacular and I was looking around like a child like <laughs> trying to figure out where to paint, where could I draw, where could I you know take pictures and then I ended up just sitting back and relaxing. I was like, okay, I'll take pictures where I can. I'll take videos where I can. I will paint where I can, but ultimately I will try to just enjoy being here. Believe it or not, I have actually been to Venice many times, but this time just really felt different. And I think it's for a number of reasons. Um, I'm older. I was going on my own as a solo trip. It's the first time since I've started painting that I've gone on holiday, like a proper holiday. And yeah, I haven't traveled in two years. It was just so needed. <laughs> So I've just taken a water taxi from Piazza Le Roma and I'll go to Rialto to make my way to San Marco. This is the Rialto Bridge. I'm in Venice. On one hand, I want to record everything and show you everything and take you around with me. On the other hand, I'm still not used to like talking to the camera in public. So yeah. I'm balancing it. So I found the perfect little place to just sit down and paint for a while. There are some steps here and the view is stunning. The sun is shining despite it being early March and everything is just lovely. I will make a separate video about like my urban sketching setup for this trip just because it might be helpful for some. But this is the final piece that I got. And again, no rush as to how long it took me. I just sit down and paint it. <laughs> It is kind of funny because people will come around to like see what you're doing and it's something that takes some getting used to but yeah I really 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 loved it. 
I've done a video about my favorite art supplies, especially my like plain air or urban sketching art supplies, and I'll link that for you up above. But it did take a lot of troubleshooting to think about what I could actually carry with me when I'm flying abroad. So I will be releasing a separate video about that with all the kind of like tips and tricks and solutions that I came up with for traveling to Venice. And I hope that that will be really helpful for you. Things that I had to figure out included like how to paint when you don't have a table or a chair or how much much liquids can you carry are paint safe to travel with just all these questions if you also have tips and tricks then please feel free to share them in the comments as it's super super helpful all of this inspired me to go on a gondola because i've never gone on it and to be perfectly honest i was petrified <laughs> I was so so scared that i would fall because you know it's all like based on balance um but yeah i didn't fall into the canal we thank god i was okay and it was amazing it was so so great you know how there's that reminder that says what if i'm scared do it anyway that was basically me because i was literally so scared that i would step onto the gondola and it would like flip that didn't happen <laughs> i asked them how often it happens they said it doesn't like they said no it doesn't happen because they know who should go where and everything so that's good but basically i booked a gondola tour and we got to go all around the canals we saw the theaters the buildings and we just got to learn more about venice we learned so much and just as an example of something that really stuck with me is i knew that venice was like man-made slash built by man but one of the things that really resonated was the fact that before they would build they would have to calculate how heavy they thought a building was going to be and based on that that's what would determine how much wood they would go to then collect and bury deep into the canal to create the foundation as a result of that now if you want to kind of renovate a building you can't make the building heavier because you can't add wood <laughs> to the foundation so you can't change the weights drastically and that's why there are limitations of the renovations that you can do on the buildings that's where the focus on that comes from which i had no idea having been there before so that was really cool to know and understand and then i was just looking around all the little shops i did call i did call my sister to kind of be like oh should i get something do you want any souvenirs they all said no so this was pretty much just me window shopping and having a look at all these cute little things that were around and just when i thought it couldn't get better I saw an artist who was just there painting live with oil and I didn't want to like distract him because he was in his element so I just watched in awe for a while. His name is Luigi Longenga and you can see more of his work there but there were other artists all around as well so I literally just took a nice stroll and because of the pandemic places that would have otherwise been packed were pretty much not that busy so I was able to really take my time and look around. There are so many beautiful places to like paint and obviously I can't do it all so what I've been doing is like taking some really nice pictures of everywhere I find inspiring which is a lot of pictures but it's so well worth it I mean oh and now the sun is setting it just means that everything looks even more pristine and so beautiful the way the light is hitting the water as well it's just so amazing honestly i can't recommend this enough i definitely think i'll come back and just dedicate like however much i can whether it be days or a week to just come here and paint because every corner you turn there is something that has meaning and something that is just absolutely stunning and full of history if you've seen my sketchbook tour or my Instagram at Sketches and Scrubs, then you will have seen a painting that I did that was more or less based on this scene. Like there's something, I stayed there and watched the sunset and it was just magical. And since then I've been painting different renditions in my head that represent this stunning view. Oh my goodness, look what I have found. Like honestly, I didn't think this day could get any better. And then I walked past a Fabriano store if you are enjoying the video so far then don't forget to hit the like button and to consider subscribing as it makes a massive massive difference to my channel as i am growing thank you so much now let's look at the rest of the store fabriano is an italian brand and this is the fabriano boutique so they sell a lot of the different fabriano papers but they also had lots of different art supplies which was really cool to see so they also sold like lamy fountain pens they, they had tombow markers they also had 
pencils, Faber Castells. So there was just lots and lots of different art supplies. One thing I must say that became quite apparent is that Venice, Venice is expensive and art supplies in Italy in general seem to be quite expensive. Um, at least here it was, but I guess it's like going to a designer store. But the art supplies were beautiful and I was determined to find something that I could buy. Um, because one I thought it was just something so romantic about you know supporting a local Italian store by buying Italian art supplies like oh I, I just think it's beautiful even though they're international now that was my aim so I looked around as you know I'm not that big on coloring pencils at the moment so it was more a question of looking for watercolour materials. I saw some Schminke paints, which I know is not Fabriano, but I saw some Schminke paints, but unfortunately they only sold them in a set that I think was like 200 euros, so <laughs> outside my budget. Um, but then I found my Fabriano paper and you may have seen it on my other YouTube videos, but basically I love this paper. It's 50% cotton. It's worked really nicely. It's a pad. And for some reason, amazingly, I love it. I'm not questioning it, but the Fabriano pads were cheaper in the store than they are online um, in the UK. So I found the perfect thing. As you can see, there were just so many stunning supplies from like calligraphy pens to um, leather pouches, to purses, to notebooks, to sketchbooks, to cufflinks, to paints, to just so, so much. Um, and I really, I didn't want to buy for buying sake. <laughs> And I, as you may know from my previous haul, I have recently just bought a fountain pen. So I couldn't quite justify buying another one before using that one. But I did love looking around and I was very, very, very much tempted. So these are the two pads that I decided to get. The one, the yellow one I got because I know it, I use it, I like it. And then the other one, the torsion one I got because I have never seen it before. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I hadn't seen it. I didn't quite understand what the texture of the paper was like. When I opened it on the sample, it looked like hot pressed paper, but it says it's extra rough paper. So basically I wanted to experiment with it. I wanted to try it out and it was an off so I got it. Here's me with some flowers because sometimes you've just got to be your own bay. and here's Venice at night absolutely spectacular. I did find it interesting because I was looking around to try and figure out like how would I paint this and I don't really paint night scenes very often but this definitely inspired me to try and figure out how I would do that but before I went home I found the cutest little most romantic restaurant to, to go and eat. And I find it so funny because literally it was like um, people eating literally by candlelight with uh, champagne and everything. And I go there and I order pizza with chips and tiramisu and I have myself a good old time. I'm literally looking around thinking, wow, everything is stunning. But also I have no idea how I would capture a night scene of Venice in a painting. Like it's almost like I, I can't tell what color, <laughs> what colors I'm seeing. So that would be something fun to experiment with when I get back. Obviously now the aim is to go back to the hotel to relax. I'm finally going to have like a nice soothing bubble bath that I've been thinking about for months. And yeah, that's the plan. Let me be real because we're all friends. I am not a morning person. In fact, I can sleep for days. But there is one thing that will get me up in the morning when I am on holiday. And that, my friend, is breakfast. <laughs> so I must always get a breakfast included option because I hate the idea of missing out on breakfast that I have paid for. And this breakfast was amazing. I was shameless in it. I got everything I wanted and more. And then I felt ready to embrace the next day in Venice full of energy. So before I took the water taxi to get to San Marco, but today I'm going to walk through Venice. And because I had nowhere to go, I was really like, mm, if I get lost, so what? <laughs> or that old kind of idea of you don't get lost you just find new places that's really how I approached it and I ended up going to San Marco which is like the main square and people were dressed up because it was the end of carnival it's just been such a nice and peaceful experience and I've been to Venice before many times but I think maybe it's because I'm older now 
I don't know because I really needed a break I just really really appreciate it a lot more but yeah I am gonna take lots of pictures of everything basically and paint as much as I can when I can I almost wish I had like a viewfinder to show you like all the different paintings that I see in this but for example like the boats with their reflection I think would be great also looking at the building in the shadows would be so nice the building right at the back that has the sun shining the bridge just so many different areas I'm like oh okay this would be so wonderful all together I can imagine it's a lot for one piece but still I feel like if you had seen me there you would think I was the weirdest tourist because I pretty much took pictures of everything I really wanted to like remember what it was like to be there remember what I saw so I took pictures of like the floor I took pictures of doors that I thought looked interesting I took pictures of um windows that I thought looked interesting I looked at stores <laughs> I was literally just absolutely living my best life and for the most part this was like the perfect trip until the last day I don't know what happened but it's like everything started going wrong there were a few racist incidents of which I'll talk about one of them at the end um, I managed to lose my bag at the airport and thankfully in the end it all worked out and this absolutely amazing human called Jerry went out of his way stayed an hour and a half late looked through six buses to eventually find my bag so in the end it was all okay but yeah it's been a trip full of stories certainly I must say there is something like I love traveling with family um I really really do but there is something so nice about actually traveling on your own sometimes because you can just do what you like when you like how you like without worrying about whether you're being an inconvenience to someone else and I haven't taken a trip with the purpose of painting solely yet and I don't know if this really counts because I didn't do that much painting but it's something that I want to do in the future and I think it's something that would be fun to do with friends who also paint or just on my own <laughs> like just live my best life let me know if that's something that you have done I've included all this footage so that if you want to paint it then you can feel free to use them as reference tag me on instagram at sketches and scrubs or let me know just so that I can see it because I would absolutely love to put on my glasses so that I can see even further and even better um, yeah I found a cute little art shop just waiting for it to open still new to this whole we close for lunch thing look at this awesome like retro camera store that I saw it was really really cool um I didn't go in because I was trying to get to the art store but still I managed to capture it in a video and also all these like luxury shops as well I did plenty of window shopping from outside <laughs> and then on my way to get to the art store and San Marco my aim was to just walk the whole way there but I kind of got a bit lost and basically had to cross the canal and I didn't know how and it turns out and I didn't want to take the water taxi because it was 7 euro 50 and I just literally needed to go across and it turns out that you can get a gondola for 2 euro to like take you across so although the water taxi price is the same which is 750 there are like just normal gondola services that will take you from point to point for two euros which is like incredible this whole time I had no idea and normally I thought it'd be like a hundred and if you want to rent like a private one to go all around or to a specific space yes you can do that but there's almost like a gondola they treat it like a bus almost but anyway I was fascinated absolutely amazed so I ended up going on a second gondola ride as scared as I was the first time and um but the guys were really 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 sweet <laughs> and they could see like I was just carefully walking again trying not to tip the gondola over which again thankfully I did not do so yeah gondola number two tick I should say that I did once kind of tip over a boat <laughs> which I think is why I am more cautious about it now. Part of the reason that I did so many videos as well was that I wanted to be able to capture like screenshots that I can later paint and one of said screenshots or pictures is actually this which I ended up doing in a live stream that I'll link up above for you. I'm not gonna lie my initial expectations when I was going away was oh, oh I need a new sketchbook because I'm going to do like 30 paintings in one day that's not at all what happened <laughs> I managed to get just a few and you can see quite a few of them in my sketchbook tour that I'll link above
One of them happened to be of Rialto Bridge. I just saw a vacant little pier. I sat down with my urban sketching kit and I just painted. Um, I didn't paint exactly what I saw because the weather had changed and I wanted to make it brighter and I wanted to kind of remember what it was like before. So the colours are a bit different, but yeah, it was just, again, such an enjoyable experience. And there's something so nice about painting outdoors. You do get people who are super curious, <laughs> who want to see your artwork, who will be incredibly kind. And it's something that I am still getting used to. And I think because there were a lot of tourists as well, that generated a lot more interest that I am used to. But that being said, it was like, it was nice. I managed to start up a nice conversation with another tourist as well, who kindly took this video for me. And that's pretty much the almost finished piece. I just went back and added a few more details with fine liner later. Unfortunately, my time in Venice was quite short, so I wasn't able to do everything I wanted or see everything I wanted, but I was enamored by the architecture that's there, not only of the cathedrals, but also the churches and just the buildings in general. And then I also saw so many cute little stores that were selling masks that, um, were selling artwork glassware from Murano for example and um, there was also art there were quills um, more glassware more books I even saw like these little toys that remind me of my childhood of like Pinocchio so I was yeah I was quickly window shopping everywhere as much as I could and just trying to take it all in even if I couldn't paint or draw as much as I wanted to at least I could enjoy the scenery I ate a lot and had a good time doing it <laughs> I had lots of ice cream I chat with the locals and I even found an art store which unfortunately didn't go as I wanted it to if you're still listening then you are a real MVP and I really wanted to get this off my chest. Part of me wasn't going to include it because it's quite negative but then the other part of me wanted to be real and yeah I thought it's a vlog so I might as well be real and basically I found this cute little art store and after going to the Fabriano store I fell in love with the idea of supporting a local Italian art store by buying art supplies. You know I love art supplies and I thought it would just be so beautiful to find something unique to Venice or unique to Italy or just support a local store and unfortunately the owner was so mean to me <laughs> when I got there and I'm laughing about it now but I'm still like quite upset and irritated about it but basically yeah he was very rude very mean this wasn't a language barrier because we were going back and forth in Italian and in English and he was basically saying that I am a, a time waster I'm not going to buy anything anyway that I should just tell him exactly what I want to get and if he has it he will tell me whether he has it but if he doesn't then I should just leave um he doesn't want me to browse he doesn't want me to look around he just wants me to go and this whole interaction happened maybe 12 minutes into me entering the store while I was holding items I wanted to buy after I had walked 40 minutes to get there and waited half an hour for him to open the store and the warning signs were there because he was treating everyone else nicer he he initially came out to tell someone that he was opening the store or later but he didn't address me but you know when you don't want to think oh he's racist you just want to think maybe he didn't see me <laughs> but then yeah when he kind of was pretty much like get out of my store it just he made his opinion very clear so unfortunately I put everything I got from there back and I left I just couldn't support part of me was like oh I'm gonna prove him wrong the other part of me was like he doesn't deserve my money so I left and found a beautiful art gallery on the way home <laughs> and that's what we're looking at here and it was in a cathedral at this point I should have been running for my plane so I just took a few videos of the ones that most caught my eye to share with you as well but that's pretty much a good summary I think of my time in Venice I saw so many beautiful places and took so many beautiful pictures one of the things that I was wondering if you'd be interested in is having like a pdf of some of these pictures as your own references just in case you want to do more paintings or drawings of Venice yourself and if that's something that you're interested in let me know down below in the comments and I will make that available for you if you have seen my most recent sketchbook tour then you will know that I have an entire sketchbook Book dedicated to exactly that if you haven't then I will link it above and also at the end thank you so so much for watching you are a real MVP if you are still watching then let me know by telling me a holiday location that you would love to go to to just like 
create art so what would be the ideal paint paintcation paint vacation <laughs> location painting location oh my gosh I'm gonna have to edit this out fully what I'm saying is making sense to you or just say ciao and then we will all know that we are MVPs together thank you so so much for watching I really hope that you enjoy the video and I will see you again next week bye <laughs>